read it, tell me your glitch in the matrix stories. Part one. Picture of my friends when they were younger. We've been trying to figure out whose hand is making the thumbs up behind the kid on the right. I have a similar picture to this. My friend from high school had me and another friend over one night for a sleepover. We went to bed pretty late and the next day went about our merry way. A few days later I got the camera developed and I had been using around the time to only be freaked out. There were a few pictures of us asleep in Jessica's bed and no one else had been at her house. To this day it creeps me out. I knew a woman who said the same thing happened to her but she was camping alone in the Canadian wilderness. When she got her photos developed, there were pictures of her in her sleeping bag. One of the creepiest stories I've ever heard. I used to work in a building that had three levels of sub-basements. With a piece of lab equipment, I technically worked on the lowest basement. I had the only key. There was a wired phone in there and I did work late some nights. But not this night. I was sleeping alone in my apartment when I woke up to a call on my cell phone from my girlfriend at 3am. She was in hysterics and asking why I scared her. Apparently she received a call from that basement phone just a minute earlier with someone who sounded like me slowly repeating her name until crackling and fading out. My apartment was 10 miles away from work. I thought she was lying, but I saw the 3M call from the basement phone logged on her cell myself. Still freaks me out. Also have something similar to these stories. I used to work at this lodge out in Jasper, Alberta, and they had these huge signature cabin guests could stay in with multiple bedrooms and living areas. Anyways, my ex worked switchboard for that hotel, and one night he was getting all these calls from one of the rooms in Point Cabin, one of the biggest of the cabins. No one was answering, so he thought some staff member or hooligans had broken in and were messing around in there. So he sends security out to check it out. Security gets there and calls from one of the rooms saying there's no one here. My ex was like, that's really funny because the phone from the next room over to you is calling me right now. Security noped out of there ASAP. Every so often I'll have dreams which play out exactly as I've dreamt them years later. They're usually insignificant moments, so I make a mental note and move on. Same thing happens to me. It happens about once every four months or so. But these dreams always seem to come true, and sometimes years later. It's really creepy to experience something you dreamed about three years ago. Middle school, the entire 8th grade class had to do this thing called a culture fair, where we research our lineage culture roots and present it after school at night for our families to see. Me and a buddy are cruising the empty halls out of boredom before the whole thing starts, and for some stupid reason, I bet him 10 bucks I can open any locker and he gets to choose which one. He takes my bet and picks a random locker. He jiggles the handle and spins the dial in this a few times to make sure it's locked. I remember it was lock number 424. So I look at him and go, psst, watch this. I spin it, six right, 24 left, 34 right. I remember thinking these numbers sound right in my head. The latch lifts up and it swings open. Similar things happened to me when I was 12. I found a combination padlock on the street in my neighborhood. I picked it up, felt I knew the right numbers as well as remembered them for later. I can't remember exactly what numbers they were, it was 27 years ago, and it opened. Free padlock. In addition, just to make sure it wasn't a bad lock, I tried another number combination and was the only one that worked. This one time at work, I was responsible for making boiled eggs. This guy came in and ate one. He was so intent on peeling his hard-boiled egg that he didn't notice that I brought a new tray of eggs in and set the older ones aside to make egg salad. Oh yes, I thought of that and had a look around for the chef who is a friend of mine. He was seven floors down having a smoke at the time. Simplest explanation is someone took an egg, changed their mind, then returned it but I never could explain where the extra egg came from. The other thing is the garage can is by the door. I was right there. Therefore, by process of elimination, aliens. I had a monkey on my keychain back in high school. The chain was three links long. One day I was walking out to my car and I heard something hit the ground. I looked down to discover the monkey with links one and two of the chain still attached to the ground and link three still attached to my belt. All of the links were still fused together. My only guess is the chain phased itself apart. 
My chemistry teacher in high school did this thing where every year she would begin the class by talking about how theoretically with the vast empty spaces in individual atoms there could be a time when all the atoms in the classroom wall and his body would sync up and allow him to pass through. He proceeded to walk straight into the wall and deadpan. Well, it didn't work that time, maybe next year. Perhaps the atoms lined up. I was walking up a hill in Portland, Oregon and found a pack of American spirits on the ground only missing two. A week later in San Francisco, I bought a pack of American spirits and after smoking two, I put the pack in the inside pocket of my jacket. Next time I went to smoke, the pack was gone. My dad had some money appear and disappear like that when he was just short of enough money to replace his passport from Mexico. An extra 200 pesos he didn't have before showed up and he paid order a replacement passport. A few days later, after he managed to get funds transferred into an account he could access with an ATM, he looked through his wallet and he was short 200 pesos. I was eating popcorn in front of the TV and dropped a piece. When it should have hit the ground, I heard a faint pop noise. My mom was a stickler about mess, so I looked all over, under the couch, under the TV stand, everywhere and couldn't find that popcorn. About a year later, I'm watching TV again and hear the same faint pop. I look down and right between my feet is a freshly popped kernel of popcorn. I picked it up and it was still warm. I'd been sitting there for at least an hour and there was nobody else in the room. Quantum popcorn. Possible explanation the popcorn kernel had been lodged somewhere in the couch the whole time. When it fell out a year later it was warm because you had been sitting on it for near to half an hour. This happened to me in the third grade and it scares me so much I started crying and I had to go to the office to talk to the principal about it. I was in the hallway for misbehaving and my neighbour Tad, a year younger than me, came walking out of a class to my right, passed in front of me and headed down some stairs. We said hi to each other. About 20 seconds later he walked out of the same class, passed in front of me and headed down the stairs. I just stared at him, confused and afraid, and he looked back like, why the F are you looking at me like that? I never realized how much of it was like the Matrix deja vu. Ha ha, that reminds me of something I did in first grade. I was walking around school because I was really bored, when I passed some guy and said hi. After I passed him, I rounded a corner and ran as fast as I could around the building and passed him again. Then I said hi again. The look on his face was amazing. One of my friends has a family photo on her wall of her family in Florida back in 1998. And about four years ago we were all around at her place for a party and one of the girls burst out crying. When she finally calmed down she said, in the background of the photo is a family walking past and it's her, her mum, dad and brother and she's much or less looking at the camera. We all laugh about it now but it's so weird to look at. It's similar to the story where a young girl had her picture taken at Disney World and in the background is her to be husband and his family just walking by. When my drama class went to Disneyland, they took a big group picture in front of the castle. They took three pictures just to make sure they got one good one. The first and last photos were normal, but the second has a guy no one seen before in between two people with his arms around their shoulders. No one noticed him when the picture was taken. One time I spilt a bowl of spaghetti o's and as I was cleaning them I noticed that one was on the ceiling, six feet up. I didn't even drop the bowl, I just tipped it over onto the counter by mistake. But sure enough a single o was right there stuck to the ceiling. My friend used to put up a reoccurring away message. Back in the day when everybody had AIM, she was a Beatles super fan and put a sentiment from John and Yoko, acorns for peace. Well, one day I was walking around my college campus thinking about it, but failing to remember the full quote in my mind. I kept thinking, something for peace, something for peace. What the hell is that message? Right then, some chick on her cell phone walks by me and screams out, ACORNS! I realized this is not a super freaky story, but it made my day at the time. It's not every day someone screams out ACORNS in your vicinity at the exact right time. I was watching Lord of the Rings for the first time and Sean Bean's character was on. I was trying to remember the specific film I'd seen him in. Just then he picks up a broken piece of sword and says, it's sharp. And I was like, oh yeah. I was on a road trip with several friends and we were on the interstate approaching an interchange. The driver had forgotten the directions, so he asked, which direction should we go? On the radio, Garrison Kalor said, south. He was right too. 
I remember being in Japanese class with my friends. We had just gotten out of calculus and were discussing random mathy stuff under the din of the rest of the kids, waiting for the teacher. Eventually, I asked my friend, wait, what would zero zero be? At that moment, the entire class goes silent for about a second, then resumes like nothing happened. Nobody was listening to us or paid attention. We always joke afterwards that I crushed the universe and had to have it reboot. Well, looks like my crazy 8th grade maths teacher taught me something useful after all. On one of the first days of class, he counted the number of people including demographics, gender, race, that kind of thing, and then called a student over to his desk. He apparently told this kid that at some time within a minute or so, accuracy, the entire class would go silent. And it did. He then taught us that in every group of people there was a lull in their conversations and knowing them well enough he could calculate when those lulls lined up. Freaked us out man.